Henry? Oh, Helen, what's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? Look, it's about your daughter. Uh, yeah? I can't look after her every single week. Huh? You're looking after Michelle? But my daughter is sleeping right next to me right now. What? What do you mean? Trouble Busters! Helen, are you ready? Yeah, super ready! We haven't been on a date in so long! What was that noise? What? A child? No way! I'm going to leave my daughter Michelle. Look after her. What? What? My sister-in-law. My name is Helen. I'm a housewife that works from home as a writer. I live with my husband, Alan, and I love my life. However, my brother Henry's wife, Miranda, was quite the bully and she was troubling me. Miranda, what on earth is going on? This is so beyond standard manners and I can't comprehend it. Huh? Children are the treasure of society. Raising them together is the standard, isn't it? Anyway, I'm busy. I know you're bored, so just look after her. Is Miranda telling us to look after Michelle? Yeah. Hi, Michelle. We're going to the amusement park today. Do you want to come with us? Amusement park? This isn't so bad. You're right. And so our day began in an unexpected way, but the three of us headed towards the amusement park. Wow, it's a real amusement park. Here, Michelle. You're like a real dad. Michelle and I both have red hair, don't we? Watch out. I'm really going to become your daddy. <laughs> We had a lot of fun at the amusement park that day, and Michelle fell asleep in the car from playing too much. We arrived back home. However, when we got there, for some reason, my sister-in-law Miranda was waiting outside, furious. Hey, don't take someone else's child around without permission! What? You're complaining instead of thanking us? Oh, well, well, we're sorry about that. We already had plans today, so uh, we apologize. Please go ahead and take her back to your house. You don't have to tell me. I'm going to do that. Michelle, look how tired you are. Poor thing. <sighs> what a woman. Huh? Miranda? Did your brother come to pick her up? What? But that's a different type of car. What? Miranda? Can you look after her again today? Do you know the saying, right place, right time? This girl has an aunt named Helen, but as a friend to a single mother, I'm the only person she has. Well then, what's the right thing for me to do, and what's the right thing for you to do? Ugh, fine, I'll look after Michelle again. Alright, thanks. Come on. Michelle, you have a cold. Let's get you to bed. Yeah, Auntie Helen. What? Will you hold my hand? Yeah, of course. Michelle sure is cute, but she can't suddenly bring her over like this and have me look after her every week. Uh, hey, Henry? Oh, Helen. Oh, what's the matter? What do you mean, what's the matter? Look, it's about your daughter. Yeah? I can't look after her every single week. Not only that, but it seems like she's not feeling very well today, and I feel bad that her mom isn't by her side. Huh? You're looking after Michelle? Um, which Helen is this? Are you calling from a parallel universe? Stop messing around. I'm not messing around, because my daughter is sleeping right next to me right now. What? What do you mean? I should be asking you that. I've never once left my daughter with you. When he said that, my brother sent me a photo of him holding Michelle. No way, but right in front of me, Michelle's sleeping after Miranda dropped her off. I took a photo of sleeping Michelle and I sent it to my brother. No, my Michelle doesn't have red hair either. That's not Michelle! I was completely confused. In that case then, who on earth is this little girl? Mommy... Well then, Henry, who is the mummy that this little girl's crying out for? Is this also Miranda's daughter? Is it Michelle's twin? As if that would be the case. I was there for the birth, and I confirmed that only one baby came out. Well then who- Either way, that makes Miranda suspicious. Wait a minute, could it be an affair? I fell to my knees overwhelmed with sadness. Miranda was having an affair, and she was prioritizing hanging out with a man over her two children. And plus, I remembered what Miranda said to me, and I was furious. After that, we had a meeting with my brother, and Alonzo came up with a strategy. And with Alan's suggestion, we put his plan into play. And then we found out the shocking true nature of Miranda. The time has come for us to give Miranda what she deserves. She, she won't, won't get, get away, away with, with this. this. It's, it's a, a trouble buster. buster. The next weekend, Miranda showed up again. Well then, thanks for looking after her again. Miranda, you're a full-time housewife, but you seem quite busy. That's right, unlike you, I'm a lot more needed by people. You know, ever since I was younger, I guess I've always looked after people. I have a personality where I can't leave people who are troubled, so I can't help but to go to them and help them. Wow, isn't that amazing? Well then, thanks. All right. And then right after this, the horrifying truth was about to be exposed to the light of day. Little Michelle, your mommy's here to pick you up! Wait, Miranda, are you drunk? Huh? Of course I'm not drunk. I just had a little tiny splash of vodka, that's all. You reek of alcohol. What the hell? 
Do you have some complaint? You don't understand what a thankless job being a mother is. I don't have any time for money to be free. Nothing. Seriously, it makes me furious to look at you without a care in the world, playing princess in a field of flowers. What do you mean playing princess in a field of flowers? Come on, Michelle. We're leaving, so hurry up. Hey, Michelle is over here. What? What? Henry, why are you here? Hey, this little girl that you were lying to Helen and calling her Michelle and leaving her here, who on earth is she? What? Well, well, that's... Helen, are your ears okay? When did I ever say that this girl was Michelle? Huh? This girl's actually my friend's daughter. I was just looking after her for a little while. So then why are you dumping a girl that you should be looking after onto Helen every week like a sublet? Well, well, that's, um... My friend that asked me to look after her, she's going through a difficult divorce with her husband right now, and... But that friend also wanted me to help her out, so I had no choice, you see. Is that so? <laughs> well... That's amazing. As if anybody would believe that. Ah. When you came just now to pick this girl up, you said out of your own mouth, Little Michelle, your mommy is here to pick you up. I was just hearing things. You misheard. I heard it too, though. Wait a minute. Is something wrong with this area? Is this the Bermuda Triangle? You can cut it out with the painful lies already. What? What? Wait, who is this man? I don't know this guy. The other day, when we came home from the amusement park, the car that you got into that day was parked right outside. I knew it. So the car from that day belonged to your boyfriend. That's the case. Like I said, I don't know that man. He's a complete stranger. Well then, why don't we ask this little girl? Hey, until now, we've been calling you Michelle. What's your real name? Nina. I see. So you're little Nina. By the way, Nina, is your daddy here right now? That's my daddy. Oh, please. Uh, that's right. Thanks for looking after our Nina. Uh, actually, Miranda and my wife are best friends, and thanks to that connection, we often go to hang out together. And uh, Nina was really comfortable with Miranda, so whenever we're busy, we ask her to look after Nina. So what were you busy with this time? Um, well, that's... I told you earlier, didn't I? Kevin's wife was thinking about getting a divorce from Kevin, and as her best friend, I needed to swoop in and save her. I don't know who the hell you are, though, so when did we become best friends? What? Sir? Uh, hey, you! Uh, how did you get here? When I saw my father and Kevin's wife show up, Miranda and Kevin's faces turned into a purple-black that would scare even an octopus and began to panic. Mommy! Nina, I'm so sorry until now. I had no idea that this was happening to you. I'm Kevin's wife. My name is Sarah. I've heard that you have been looking after my daughter all this time. That you even took her to the amusement park with you. Thank you very much. No, there's no need to thank us. You were also a victim. I was tricked by these two. My goodness, this is not a conversation to be had in front of young children. Well then, Michelle and Nina, why don't we go to the room next door, and you can play games with your grandpa. Well then, all of the players in this case are all here now. What do you mean case? Why are you making such a big deal, Helen? This is much more than a case. Why did my husband leave my precious daughter with you, and then on top of that, you left her with a couple that I've never seen nor heard of? What do you mean why? Do you really think that you're in a place where you can stand up so tall and blame others? When you prioritize your work over looking after your own child, and you're the one who left your kid at home. And that's why, while I'm in home, I had asked my husband Kevin to look after our daughter. What's wrong with asking a father to look after his own child? Mrs. Sarah was a mother who also worked as a concierge of a hotel. I have a lot of pride in my work, but I also have a lot of pride in being Nina's mother. If I could be with Nina at all times, I wish I could do that. But even though Kevin is in debt, he doesn't even try to work. Well then, what is this guy always doing with his time? He goes to the casino and he bets on horse races. He gambles, that's all he does. Wow, he's the worst kind of person to marry. Unemployed, addicted to gambling, and a cheater. I knew it, these two were having an affair. What? What do you mean affair? You don't have any evidence. I'm gonna sue you for slander for saying such nonsense in front of my wife. That's right, that's right. If you want evidence, we have plenty of it. Look. What? What do you mean? What? what? Today, because Miranda left Nina with us the whole day, I took the liberty of following after you. Thank you very much, truly, for just giving up all of that information so easily. What? What the hell? How dare you stalk me? I'm going to sue you! Well done, Alan. <laughs> First of all, starting at 9 o'clock in the morning, as soon as the casino opened, the two of you walked in through those doors together. So, what's wrong with the two of us going to a casino together? There's no crime in that. I don't think I've been giving you that much spare money to spend at the casinos, though. 
Well, you're my husband and you have a little bit of extra change, so what's wrong with me using some of that freely? Today, their total use was $300. It was all sucked up by the slot machines. But I don't know if that counts as a little bit of extra change. Ugh, $300 was supposed to turn into a thousand. Then I was thinking about buying a gift for Michelle and Henry on the way home. Interesting. So you're trying to be grateful to your husband. Well then, what's this conversation? Whoa, I know I'm gonna win today. Me too, I'm going to triple it and go home. Then we can rent out the suite of a fancy hotel and we can spend the whole day doing the hustle together. <laughs> you love this too. Of course, today the condition of my hips and the condition of my sons are in their best form. Why don't we go back to back today? Okay, I have nothing but gratitude for that ATM, the thing that produces the money for this fun date. Seriously, working a job is something that only useless people should do. As long as you have attractiveness and a skill to use people like us, then we don't have to do anything for the money to come raining down. I'm glad we were both able to secure such good ATMs. And then the people that are really in love is us. Mmm. Ugh, my ears are gonna rot. How could you? You thought of me as just an ATM? Unbelievable. How do you think people feel working hard every single day to earn for their families? Even though we tolerate it, no matter how hard it gets to see our family smile. In that case, it's totally fine. You're working for my smile, right? I use your money to go to the casino every day, and because of that, I'm smiling. I get to be the very happy Miranda. Huh? Did you say every day? At the casino? What? Oh, <laughs> my mouth slipped. But wait, it's fine. It's just the two, three hours that Michelle's at the preschool. Let me have fun. So that's why you can't do the chores and the house is always dirty. And why you haven't been cooking any meals every day. Listen, a family smile isn't talking about your selfish actions and satisfying your own physical needs. It's about protecting this life. That should be me, you, and Michelle spending time together and loving each other. Oh, really? But that's not what I want anyway. How boring. What? Boring, is it? Henry, I bet these two, they don't understand how to be grateful for a regular life. They're the type of perverts who go after the thrill, and they feel ecstasy in that. So you were having an affair after all? Unfortunately, yes. Here's a photo of the two of them that came out of a hotel two hours later. Wow, I can't believe you were showing these faces into the world. That's disgusting. Way too embarrassing to have somebody in my family like that. I'm cutting off all ties with you. Sayonara, goodbye, adios. Whatever, whatever. Having my sister-in-law cut me off doesn't itch nor hurt at all. Who do you think you are? After doing all of this, you still think that you're my wife? What, are you saying that you're going to get a divorce? That's a given. Not only were you having an affair, you left the child and went off to have your own fun. I don't think that you're fit for the family that I'm trying to have. Wait a minute, but I was playing the role of the wife perfectly, and even though I was busy with my casino time, I was still doing the chores. I was fluffing around the house, and I was tossing those clothes into the coin laundry, and even the cooking. I grabbed things from the department store, and I put them on a plate. Nicely. Are you saying that that's what a wife's job is? You ate it yourself, and you said that it was delicious. So those were all just store-bought. No wonder why they didn't taste homemade. See, I'm amazing, aren't I? Even though I wish I could spend one second longer with the slot machines, I still take care of the chores, and I was picking a Michelle from preschool every day, too. By what standard can you call yourself amazing like that? So what was your boyfriend doing during this time? Were you only seeing each other on the weekends? What? I was just going to the casino, and then maybe to and from the bathroom with Miranda with uh, ulterior motives? Ew, disgusting! There's no way that I can live with somebody like this. I don't even want to breathe the same air. A divorce. divorce. We're, We're getting, getting a, divorce. a divorce. Absolutely agreed. 100,000 votes, yes. This is a given. What? Well, then, who's going to give me money? Who knows? Why don't you work yourself? I don't want to get a divorce. Henry, please don't leave me. All right, I promise I'll have a change of heart and I'll play wife. I know I can quit gambling. Obviously, there's no way I can believe the words of an addict like that. It's the truth, believe me, I already have a plan. My need to gamble will solve it with shopping, so it's fine. Huh? What are you saying? You were lucky to be able to marry me, so you should be grateful to God. Even if I collect a settlement fee from you, I'm not gonna show any mercy. Even for one penny. You're so stingy, you're going to say that much over one penny? I'll also be collecting a full settlement fee, and I'll take responsibility for Nina and raise her, so you'll be paying child support fees too. Huh? I'm a full-time housewife, how am I supposed to be able to pay a settlement fee? Well, the only way would be to work and make payments and installments. I don't wanna. I married Henry and I became a full-time housewife so that I wouldn't have to work. 
Me too. I've never worked for longer than one week until now. Well then, what a great opportunity for both of you to learn how to work hard and be better people. No, no way, please. We're gonna divorce, then it can just be $3,000 a month. But you have to deposit it. What are you saying? I am the victim. You're the one that cheated on me. Henry, you really did choose the wrong woman. I can't believe I'm losing two ATMs. I can't survive anymore. After that, all involved parties went to court, and Henry and Sarah were both able to get divorces from Miranda and Kevin. They were both sued for a settlement fee of $40,000 each, however neither of them had any desire to work and were addicted to gambling and they took out a large loan with every intention of running away from it. In the end, they were served an assignment of claims and they were forced to start paying back their debts under harsh circumstances. Now I heard that they were passing out tissues on the street seven days a week from morning till night to somehow make ends meet. As for Michelle and Nina, they're living and doing well under their parents that give them all the love. Even though we were connected under strange circumstances, sometimes they come over to play at our house too. Hey, Michelle and Nina, you guys might become big sisters pretty soon. I'm going to be a big sister! What? Wait a minute. Helen, we're going to become mom and dad! Oh my, well congratulations! When the baby's born, I hope you'll both play with my baby. Yeah! And so all the families can smile together, and these smiles is what true happiness is all about. Alan and I were going to treasure the new life inside of us as we build our family together. It's a trouble buster.